<coughs> that didn't enter my throat right. Anyway, hi guys. So, for those of you who might have noticed, I have been off of YouTube for a while, like a couple months, maybe a several, several months. And maybe you're wondering why. I'll tell you why. Because I bought a house. Guys, I have literally moved out and this video that you're watching is in my new house. I mean, check this out. All right, look, look, I mean, uh, whoa. <laughs> that was on purpose. I mean, literally. This camera angle is not working, but yep. So guys, God has literally opened an insane door for me to be able to move out into my own house. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys about this new house I bought, give you a house tour, and we're going to check out a new car that I also bought. Yeah. I better get my hoodie on. This Santa hat hoodie. It's perfect. I love it. So I'm using my smartphone to record outside because it's raining and I don't want to get my beautiful camera wet. So guys, check out my front yard. This is the neighborhood that I live in and this is the house that I've purchased. Exactly. So yeah, you can see we got a little bit of snow going. Literally my first full day here, I got snowed in, which is absolutely insane. But I mean, it was pretty great. It gave me an excuse to lay around and do absolutely nothing. As you can see, it's a pretty basic front yard. We got a few bushes going. There's a, yeah, it's a rose bush. It's trying. Got us a basketball hoop. Now these two windows right here are not actually part of the house, but they are the carport where I have my awesome new insane whip. I mean, it's insane. So awesome. So what happened was my old car was, one day I was driving to work in the morning when someone from the other direction fell asleep and crossed paths and was about to hit me. And so I just swerved and I lost control and flipped the vehicle, which was not very much fun, but okay. I ended up getting reimbursed for the car. So let me show you guys the inside of my new whip. As you can see, if you saw like the past video where I talked about the old car I got, this one is much newer. It's much more flashy, much better, and it is wheat bread inside of it. What more could you ask for in a car? So yeah, you know, it's it's pretty standard Honda Civic, but dudes, I love it. It's amazing. Welcome to my backyard. We got a shed going on back there, but it's kind of falling apart. It's had a few good years of use, and we got us a back deck over here, but that's enough of outside. Now, welcome to inside. I'll tell you what, guys, this snow is perfect for throwing at yourself. That was the, the best snowball throw ever. All right, guys, so now we're back inside, which means I can yell again. I, I didn't yell as loud outside as I normally did because I have neighbors. I want to respect their ear privacy, you know? So welcome to my hallway when you first walk into the building. You've got a good old dryer with a, a hammer on it if you ever have to hammer the laundry. So let's check out this hallway, check out this hallway. So we got us a kitchen, we got us a nice little microwave, a closet with some random clutter inside of it, which I think is amazing. Clutter is awesome, guys. So got some nice cabinets, a beautiful sink. Good, good sink, very, very good sink. And some soap, so I can soap stuff. Yep, so we were gonna have a housewarming yesterday with some snacks, but it kind of snowed, so. And this is in case I get thirsty, yep. You know what, while we're at it, I might as well go ahead and offer you guys some tea. Except for, I can't pour tea through YouTube. It's empty and it's dirty. I'm so sorry, no tea. Refrigerator, lots of cool stuff. Now, one of the most important things in my house is this right here. Don't copyright strike me, Kellogg's. Fruit Loops are the best. <laughs> Got us a toaster oven. I couldn't find anywhere else to put it, so I just propped it right over here. Yeah, exactly. So this is my kitchen, guys. It's pretty awesome. Cooking is just one of those things I'm gonna have to learn to cook sooner or later. I mean, look, I have cooked some. I can cook stuff like pasta, you know, noodles. What else can I cook? Mashed potatoes. I need to, I need to get to like that gourmet cooking. Yep. I'm gonna start Joseph's cooking show. You guys better stay tuned. I'm not really gonna start it. So welcome to my dining room. I've got a nice little table. This is an insane awesome piece I found at a thrift store. It's a well salt and pepper shaker where the salt is his head and the tail is his pepper. And there's tilt 
I bought it at the thrift store and there was still pepper in it. That's crazy. So I also got this cool sticker type of thing that's basically a chalkboard surface and you can write on the back of your cabinet. Eat. Stuff. So welcome to my living room. I've got my PS4 and my 4K TV over here, which there's a banana on my PS4. Okay, very cool. So look, this is one of my favorite parts of the house. Oh, PS4, oh, PS4, what are you for to make me happy? I've got my router right here. You guys are gonna love my router name. Just check this out. My pleasure reflects very well the place that I work. So when people come to my house and get free internet and say, hey, thanks for the internet, I can say, my pleasure. Just gonna give you guys like a wide shot of my living room. Pretty amazing. So this is my bedroom where I will be sleeping. Yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to do in bedrooms. Here's some random clutter I haven't put away yet. So, you know, here's my bed right here. What is a banana doing on my, what are these bananas just randomly all over the room for? Okay, um, yeah, we got some books going, stuff like that. It's a pretty nice bedroom, you know? I like it. Here's my bathroom, the best room in the whole house. And there's not a banana in here, thank goodness. But it has a jacuzzi, okay? What more could you ask for in a house? You know, I've never had a toothbrush holder in my whole life until I moved out. Random fun fact about me. All right, so zoom, we go to the other side of the house. Here is an empty room. I'm not sure what happened with the paint job here. All it's got is a sofa and a trash can. <sighs> We're gonna go to literally one of my most exciting rooms in the whole house. This room is going to affect you guys so much. Here we go. Boom! Guys, it is my recording room. Literally, I've invested so much into this to set up the most professional setup. What is a banana doing on my laptop? No, get out. This chair is amazing, I love it. I actually ordered it, they sent it to pieces. I was able to assemble it. We got a printer going over there. We've got a professional quality recording microphone. So maybe I could do like some gaming videos. We got us the green screen set up. So I got a couple umbrella lights here. I've got a couple more lights over here, my tripod. Literally guys, this is going to make my videos even more professional than they were before. So guys, I basically, I'm loving my new mic. I want to explain a couple things about this house. The truth is, I'm only 18 years old and I moved out. I have my own car, I have my own house, and I'm trying not to say that in a, a braggish way. I have been so blessed by God and I would never want to say that it was because of anything other than God that I have this house because naturally I'm a pretty lazy guy. I try to work hard at my job but I can see myself to know that there are people that work 10 times harder than me and yet don't have their own homes. It's not because it's fear that I got this house. It's because God blesses his children. I'm encouraging you guys, serve the Lord with all that you have, and if you don't get any monetary gain out of it, continue to serve the Lord. You might or might not get a blessing like this out of it. God has blessed my life so much since I started working when I was 16 years old. Now I'm 18, and I've gone so far since then. But whether God blesses you that way or not, continue to serve Him, because He will bless you. Maybe not in the way that you expect, but He will bless you. In a couple years now, I've just been working as hard as I can, trying to save up money as much as I can. And you know, I've been trying to develop a successful mindset. I've been trying to be the best employee that I can at my job. And in the end, through God's grace, you can see that it has paid off. And this isn't the end. There's a whole lot more ahead of you guys. And I'm very excited to see what God has for me in the future. So keep your pal Joseph Arrow in the future. One fun fact about this house, this used to be my best friend's house. So I would come over here and hang out all the time. It, it's amazing. This was my, one of my favorite places as a kid. And now as an adult, I get to live here. So guys, this is my house tour. This is what I've been doing for the past few months. I don't know if I'll be able to post a lot from now on still, because I'm going to be really busy keeping up with the house, having to cook for myself and stuff, but we will find out. So stay tuned, or I will stalk you and give you a million dollars. Subscribe to my channel. My pleasure.